Good morning everybody, it's Hugh from Birth and welcome to an incredibly beautiful day down here in Falmouth uh, Marina. Uh, we are in the middle of August and today we're going to look at a very, very beautiful windy 25 Mirage. She's a little bit special, she's a little bit different, she has some fairly uh, prodigious provenance. If you look at the name down there, uh, she is the one and only Blue Moves uh, and she used to belong to someone who I think had an album called Blue Moves and was also known for Yellow Brick Roads. So uh, let's go have a look on board and uh, I'll talk you through it now. So the 25 Mirage, an unbelievable piece of kit. So widely regarded as the best handling hull in the world. We'll just talk about why that is. So it's a Hans Jürgen Johnson hull. It was designed uh, by Hans Jürgen for windy boats when they were building these up in Arendal in Norway. So this is a complete Arendal build. So she was supplied at new by Express Cruisers, which is the windy arm of Berthon, and was incredibly high spec when she was bought. So it's a very, very competent deep V hull, solid GRP laminate with some foam core de Vinicel in her. If we look down the aft end here, you can see that she's a single variant. All of these boats were with a single engine. This has the most popular option, which is the Volvo Penta CAD 44, which is producing 260 horsepower. We have a bathing ladder underneath here. There's a cockpit locker underneath here. We've got a ski hook here. A little bit more about that in a moment. And if you can see underneath this beautiful varnished mahogany transom, there's a Lopo light there. So she has been pimped. Uh, the bathing platform, which was originally in solid teak, has been replaced with simulated teak, so much less maintenance here. But the mahogany clamshell here on top of the cover, so there's a full can canopy cover that goes right the way over the boat to completely enclose this cockpit, is kept underneath there. We'll have a look at that in a tick. Ensign here, shore power goes in here. So she's got two fridges on board which is incredibly rare on one of these. It's usually just up at the forward end of the cockpit. If we have a look down here, this is a, a little bit of, of a game here. There's a number stamped in to this plate here, and it says at the end, 101, which means it was built in 2001 to a 2001 model year. Norway Windy Boats 25. So that's how to read a windy hull number. Half transom cleats here, these beautiful rub rails, which also can be used as cleats. So they have a notch here, so you can just drop your fender there, so it protects your transom and your half quarters. And then we have this beautiful scoop here in polished shop stainless steel. So that's putting air into the engine bay, which is inside here. And that just denotes that she sports cruiser and it's the 25 mirage uh, your diesel filler is here other side we have um, your water filler and then we have this beautiful polished stainless steel windscreen with buttons here so that you can plug the tonneau cover on here which is that beautiful tonneau cover there which is all nicely lined or you can put the can uh, canopy which is in that aft clamshell up over this it has a series of hoops, one on here, and one is current permanently fitted down on there. The whole lot comes up, so it's a two piece canopy, so you can drive with just the front up. It battens down onto here, but this is an incredibly good handhold for when you're moving along. You and your passengers can brace on this. It's also really clever. You can use when you're single handing, you take the bow line round here once around this cleat, bring it up through here, you can do a really neat knot that I can teach you, and that holds it there so that the boat is completely ready. And you just flick the fenders down here and down there, aft line comes in here, and you're ready to come alongside. 
So just a little bit about the the um, uh, the fore deck area. We've got a 10 kilogram um, stainless steel self-launching anchor on this self-launching mechanism there. So that tips over. There's a swivel on the uh, end of the shank here and polished stainless steel chain. There's about a meter of that and then it just reverts to conventional um, galvanized. When you always put this lock on here so that you can't deploy the anchor and you can also completely isolate this windlass from the back end so that if you've got children playing up here they can't stick their fingers through it and hurt themselves. Uh, we have um, two remote switches here so those are for anchor windlass drop or retrieval. Two cleats here. The horn is neatly located underneath here. Obviously you've got two cleats, two fair leads. As you can see it just really neat lead aft. Uh, then we have anchor locker is underneath this flap. There was a little, there we go, there's a butterfly in there. Uh, so we've got chain locker there, really easy to access, really neat. That's just all kept there. And again, this uh, four deck uh, originally uh, on uh, a lot of these boats was just um, non-slip uh, grip, uh, GRP, but on this one, we've got this really nicely done uh, simulated teak uh, tread there. So. Uh, really good grip up here, looks great, really sets the boat off. Central opening, rooks and hatch, hinges forward, locking bolts at the aft end, and that just gives light down into that main cabin. So we've got one single cabin on this boat. Um, interestingly enough here, we've got an extra set of cleats. So uh, you've actually got some midships cleats, which are uh, not standard, but really, really super useful actually. Uh, and then we've got this brilliant cockpit area here, grab rails right the way around, midships cleats, and that's kind of the outside of, of blue moves. Let's uh, have a look on board. So walk on through the, uh, uh, the bathing platform. So this is the canopy here, it's polished mahogany. It has a little clip either side with a gas ram. And then underneath here, this is the reproofed, recolored canopy. So that encloses the whole cockpit. It's on two sets of poles. One set is bolted on to the hull just here, and one is removable and goes onto the fixings just here. This boat is also being sold with a bimini, so you can you've got various cover options on her and that uh, tonneau that we spoke of. So she's been retrimmed in a diamond stitch um, uh, silver. Um, silver text, uh, so that's really, really smart. There is an infill cushion for here, but I haven't put it out just because we're about to stand on it. So, uh, this is really nice, uh, Bentley sort of cross stitch. Uh, we've got teak pad here. I'm standing actually on top of the engine bay here. We've got a fold out table which is removable. There you go, all beautifully done. Super windy varnish job as per usual. Just put that flat down. So, we've got piano hinges here. No corrosion on any of this, it's absolutely beautifully maintained. It's a proper jewel of a windy, this. Uh, this boat had an absolutely thumping sound system. It's got an extra fridge underneath here. We have a water tank underneath the floor here. Engine bay coming back underneath here. We'll have a look at that in a tick. And uh, just moving forward, fuel tank sits underneath here. So there's a bit of storage underneath the, uh, here. It's not particularly exciting, but uh, as you can see, windy badging on all this really, Really super smart. Uh, moving up to the main cockpit, uh, central uh, helm boss, uh, water, fuel levels, and all of your telemetry for your engines are up here. We've also got a helm indicator, which is really useful here, so you can see the angle of the leg. Little Garmin Echo Mac 50S, all works, color. Uh, this is your EDC, so this is electronic diagnostic diesel control, sorry, uh, for your uh, Volvo Penta engine. That is the throttle there. This is the startup uh, uh, window and will give you any fault codes or error messages um, via a little blinking uh, orange logos in there. And then you get a little blinking light in this button here, which is D for diagnostic, N for neutral. And that is a safety button that allows you to start the engine. Side power bow thruster uh, fitted in a tunnel forwards that looks after itself. Uh, Bennett trim tabs, uh, indicators port and starboard here. The boat should trim absolutely level with maybe a couple of dabs of generally port tab 
This is your um, adjustment for your outdrive leg. So that gives you the angle that the twin Duroprops uh, are presenting to the water. Uh, Sony stereo, um, something else. Uh, that is your light, uh, sorry, your anchor drop lighting and tin internal lighting here and horn. This is your ignition. And down here we have uh, stereo and uh, auxiliary light, water, Icon VHF, and then just on this little 12 volt switching panel here, but really beautifully done. Can you see that? That is really expensive to do. It's not simple. And look at that, it's sitting on its own little surround. So that is beautifully done. Individual pop-out breakers here as well. So you've got wiper, uh, water pump, uh, bilge pump, fridge, and fridge. So two fridges. So one fridge underneath here. Just open that up for you. Just in there with its only little cold plate. Thermostat is underneath here. In fact, it is exactly there. So that sits underneath there. Uh, your batteries are down in a locker. So they kept right out of the way, just down in there. So that's really simple. It's a fantastic cockpit. Look at that, it's just a complete horseshoe. Really easy, really simple. Works magically. Um, so helm position is pretty perfect on these. So you can bolster it where you can st uh, stand up, have it driving like that. Enormous uh, pile uh, sound system on this. This is your plate showing the boat's uh, number. So she was number 88, so 25088. Just have a look at that. Yeah, that's correct, 88. She's category B, she's a windy 25M. Uh, maximum persons on board seven, maximum load plus 600. So you can carry 600 uh, kilograms and seven. Uh, right. Uh, Engine stop, sorry, just underneath there. And that's yeah, the front of your cockpit. So got a really nice drinks locker over here. This has all been cleaned off and reshot with two pack. So those are for shot glasses, allegedly. Those are for bottles of booze. It's all fantastic, well done. And here, this used to be coated in black. Uh, current owners had it all taken back, shot blasted with two pack. So a gloss, 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 super finish. And look at that, it's all polished. That's the tap. So you've got a little cold water tap there, glass holders there. You've got a little wet bar at the, the front of the cockpit with a cover there. Uh, sliding door just pops in and out of here, just like so. Do not leave your keys in the door as you are shutting it or the key meets that and snaps off. Uh, and then inside it is compact and bijou, as we say. Uh, we have a double berth, there is a port light there, there is an enormous subwoofer there which the first owner asked us to put in and it allegedly almost shook the tiles off the roof of our commissioning shed at Burton in Lewington. Uh, fully trimmed round, couple of lights, opening light, uh, opening hatch sorry there, uh, mirror up the forward end. This uh, can either be used as a table like that or we can drop in this infill. And there is another board that goes across here that fits in to make that into a big double berth. And then we have a hanging locker here, and it is actually a proper hanging locker. There you go, We've got a couple of hooks in there, stereo, power, and um, power points and uh, fire extinguisher. And the, just to make this into a true kind of uh, day weekender, it has to have a loo on board. So if you're feeling brave, take these off and underneath here this is the board that fits in for your feet to go on should be it says not having done this hello there we go it has it's uh it's a simpson lawrence 400 it's got a, a lever mechanism there it's got in fact its own fan let's just uh, test it and that's working so beautifully beautifully presented boat i mean the floor in here um, it's got kind of patina, but it's near perfect. Um, just a fantastic boat, this. So as I said, it is well known as the best handling hull in the world. Um, we will launch her off, uh, we'll get her out of um, uh, the docks here shortly and just show you what it does. Um, but just before we leave, let me just ping this round, move these cushions off, and have a quick look at the 
prime mover. Sorry about this. Really well sorted knot. Um, underneath here, he says, is a Volvo Penta. So that's uh, the CAD 44 EDC electronic diesel control. Uh, it is a six cylinder turbocharged and supercharged engine. Uh, develops about 3,800 horsepower, 260 horsepower at that. It will propeller to 40 knots plus minus uh, on a good day. Batteries here, so we've got service battery, engine start battery, and an extra service battery on the far side. That's her. So as you can see, it's an absolute engineer's dream. We've got the alternator down here. Battery charger is tucked just underneath here. A little crystal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tour of Blue Moves. Um, she is an absolute gem of an example of a Windy 25 Mirage. Uh, and she's on the market with Birth On right now. Thanks very much for watching. So this is Blue Moves, just on the water on an absolute stunner of a day out in uh, Falmouth Harbour. So Jonathan is, uh, he's moving up into another windy at the moment. So this very famous 25 with huge amount of provenance is coming onto the market. She's equipped with Volvo Pentacad 44, 260 bow thruster, two fridges, Garmin plotter, everything you need it is the ideal pocket sports cruiser allegedly and not even allegedly it is the best handling boat in the world so um absolutely beautifully built in uh, arundel by windy boats international has a very very uh, clear and clean ownership history always been beautifully maintained as you can see she absolutely glistens so we've got a full deep blue uh, flag full grip hull she has the mahogany varnished transom cover at her tail end absolutely beautiful and it's all set off with a, uh, a simulated fore deck in a uh, in nice dark simulated teak so that is her hope you can see that beautiful beautiful 2001 windy 25 mirage called blue moves